thanks for joining me again at Quick Biz Education. My name is Dwayne, and today we're going to be looking at how to do the break even chart. So, the idea of this video is to show you how to find the break even quantity and the break even point using a chart or if you're given a chart you should be able to read the information from the chart so i've organized some things here for us to make it be easy for us to understand and we're going to be taking information from a little table that i have here on the board now if you observe on the table you'll see units of output You'll see sales revenue, fixed cost, variable cost, total cost, and also the profit. Bear in mind also that this information, all these numbers, they are in thousands. So this would be 2,000, 30,000, uh, 4,000, 5,000, okay? Now, when we're doing the break-even chart, it's like we're making graphs, okay? so you know you're gonna need a grid so i'm using this background that will help us to create a chart that is neatly done okay so you're gonna need your axes you're gonna need your y-axis which is the vertical line and you're gonna need your x-axis which is the horizontal one i've gone ahead and i've placed the information on the y-axis for revenue and also for units of output or the quantity which is on the x so observe here that what you're doing is basically comparing you're comparing your units of output with your revenue or your cost that's basically what you're doing so let's go ahead now and we're going to take these lines because we want to put in the total cost line the total revenue line and the fixed cost line that we can identify the break-even point and the break-even quantity so we're going to be comparing the units with the cost okay so if we're going to be taking the total cost line the first information that we want to find is total cost which we can see here okay so we're going to be comparing the units of output with the total cost so if we haven't made any uh, units but we're still paying for rent which you know just an example still paying rent which would be a fixed cost then our total cost would be 50 so we could say 0 to 50 and I'm gonna put a 50 right here right I'm gonna say it is about right there we'll say that will 50 we're gonna take 2000 units with 60 so this is 2000 we're gonna go 2000 and then we're gonna go to 60 which would be there then we're gonna take 4000 units with with 70 so 4000 units with uh mm, 60 70 probably will be around here all right around there we're taking uh, 5,000 units with 75 so we say 5,000 would be here with 75 which would be around all right 75 here all right good 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 so it's, it's not really gonna be drawn to scale but you're gonna see um, a decent line then we're gonna take 6,000 units with 8,000, 80, so that is, if this is 75, so this will be around 80 here, okay, so let's mark it there, then we're going to take 8,000 with 90, so 8 with 90, all right, so there we have it, all right, so we have completed plotting so let's go ahead now and we're gonna draw a line from here draw a straight line good and we could continue up so this now will be the first line which would be our uh, total cost line so this is our tc line so let's mark it there okay 
let's do the total revenue line so remember sales revenue is the same as total revenue and remember in order to get your total revenue it is the price times the quantity all right so zero with with zero we're right here we start here 2,000 units with 30,000, 2,000 with 30, we're going to be here, 4,000 units with 60,000, we're going to be here. So we're just plotting, doing it from scratch that you can have a very good idea of how to do it and how you know the lines are when you see a graph you know exactly what you're doing okay that's why we're doing this so 8000 with 120 um so 8000 with 120 and this would be up here good and now let's join this so we're gonna join our lines from here okay good and we could continue it here so we know that this is our tr line so that's how we receive our tc line and also our tr line um, now let's do the fixed cost line which is it's pretty easy again we're comparing the the units with our fixed cost remember fixed cost these are not proportionate with the amount of uh, output okay so you have to bear that in mind okay so we're gonna go 0 to 50 and I'm gonna start right here which is 50 2,000 to 50 we go here 4,000 units to 50 we go uh, about here 6,000 unit so 50 we go here 8,000 units to 50 and we go about here so again now we have our fixed cost line all right okay good so this now would be our fixed cost line all right and probably we could have gone ahead and put this in a different color if we so desire so this basically is how we do the break even now in order for us now to find the break even remember the break even point is where your total revenue equals the total cost okay so it's where the total revenue line crosses the total cost line all right so let's find that it is right here that is it and probably we could try and use a different color for that let's use blue to show what it would be and then we would see if it makes sense all right so we're gonna go here let's draw it here let's go here good and then we're gonna do this again and there we have it right there we have it okay good so this now we can see that this is the break even point. So let's use another color here. Let's use red. And we're going to say this now. This point here is the break even point. Okay. And you have to remember what the break even point is. And then this part here would now be the break even quantity. So this we see that this would be roughly. Uh, 500 so if we look at the table here we see 500 quantity we see 75 sales revenue total revenue line crosses the total cost line at 75 so we can see 75 here so we know that the break-even revenue would be 75,000 and the break-even point quantity here would be 5,000 okay so this is really what the break-even analysis and chart is about. You must know your TR line, you must know the TC line, and you must know the FC line. Knowing these lines and you know will help you to know where to find the break-even point. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you 
would have gotten something from this short video. The next lesson, we're going to look at the margin of safety, and we're going to look at the profit, and we're going to look at, at the loss, okay? And even before we go above here, this now would be basically the profit, all right? This amount would be profit, and the amount below will be a loss. So we could we could probably just put that uh, quickly in here. So we could say this now would be our profit. Uh, so anything, anything above the anything above the the break even point would be the profit, and anything below the break even point would be a loss. Okay. So there we have it. So that's basically it. All right. So if we're producing anything below this point, we are actually not recovering the money. Okay. We're, we're operating at the loss. But if we're producing above the break even point, then this would be, this is going to be considered a profit. And if you were to look at the table here, then you can see because 6,000 quantity, 6,000 units, uh, if we can produce 6,000 units, then we're going to make 10,000 uh, in profit. And then we could see 6,000 and we could go here and then we could, we could do 6,000. Then we could go across the line and then we could do our subtraction. And then we will see that we're actually just making uh, $10 in profit. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that uh, this will help you in your preparation. Join me next time for the next video when we're going to be using the same information and I'm going to show you how to do the margin of safety. All right. Do have a wonderful day. Ciao.